There is a new breed of freight out there. It is fast, it is light, it is innovative, and it's shifting all manner of things across Britain. Welcome to The Freight Escape! Wherever you go today, speed is of the essence and express freight is a new way of moving goods by rail fast. So to learn more, we've come to St Pancras station where there may not be any freight in sight or actually is there? This is Dan Fredrickson who leads the way on express freight for Great British Railways transition team and Network Rail. So Dan, this sounds like a really exciting area, can you just tell us about it? Yeah Steve, so Express Freight, it's an evolution of the conventional rail freight model. It describes a range of ways in which our customers are working to meet the new needs of the logistics sector. And I guess Network Rail are right behind them, supporting them? Absolutely. It's our role to help accelerate the shift to rail. And by working with customers, we can find smarter, greener ways of moving goods by rail, whatever the size of the goods. Dan, thank you very much. Thank you. So it's time to see Express Freight in action, and I'm heading to one of the passenger platforms to see how Intercity Rail Freight are pioneering a new service for their customers. So Daniel, tell me about the service that you're offering here. Sure, so we use high-speed passenger services such as these behind us to move parcels and light freight all around the country. At 125 miles an hour, it's up to twice as fast as road. We use a green first and last mile service to load and unload. It's infinitely greener and it's incredibly predictable. For the logistics industry, it's a game changer. And let me bring uh, Jack Dunning, who's from Nationwide Pathology. So you're the end customer here. Why, why is this important to you? It gives us reliability over everything. Um, it means that we know exactly when the samples are going to arrive at the laboratory. Um, they do that in a sustainable and green way. And is the speed important for you? Absolutely, the speed is paramount in healthcare. Ensuring that we can get those samples to the laboratory for testing uh, means that we can pass that efficiency onto our clients. Jack, Daniel, thank you very much. Oh no, I am not here train spotting. I am here freight spotting. I've seen how Express Freight can use space on existing passenger services. Next, I'm heading to Birmingham International to meet another operator who is carrying thousands of items every day. So it is after 10 o'clock at night, and while most of us may well be settling down, this express freight operator is revving up and is ready to go. I'm here to meet Phil Reed, Managing Director of Varimus. An express freight operator is helping businesses use freight in a different but equally smart way. So Phil, good to meet you. Tell me about this service. Well, this is our brand new express rail freight service serving Moss End to Birmingham five nights a week. It's a fully electric, high speed, 100 mile an hour former passenger train that we're delighted to be able to use for this service. So what are the benefits to your customers? This huge benefit, the speed for start, this travels 100 miles an hour, we can get to Glasgow much quicker than any other mode of land transport. It's fully electric as well, which offers huge benefits when we talk about sustainability and the, the green credentials of businesses, and that's a massive attraction to the people we're working with at the moment. And it's just great, isn't it? It shows that innovation doesn't have to be some clever tech. Absolutely not. This is a, a very simple rail service offering aching to passenger services but obviously it carries freight rather than people. And it's been great just seeing those parcels coming off the plane at the International Airport straight onto the train and then speeding their way off to customers. It really is. It's, I'm so pleased that you guys are here to see it in motion because it really is exciting when you consider the multimodal shift of goods from aircraft to road and to rail all integrated to offer a, a real good service offering for our customers. Bill, thank you very much. Thanks, good to meet you. You too. It was great to see another form of express freight. My next destination is to find out how a famous service is bringing a whole new level of innovation to rail. And I can't wait to see it. So welcome to Royal Mail's Midlands Super Hub. To say this place is big doesn't really do it justice. It's 53 acres in size. You can fit 30 football pitches, full-size football pitches here. Inside this building alone, you can fit 14 jumbo jets. It's absolutely massive. But what do we do with all of that space? Should we go find out? 
To tell me about how this all works, I'm going to speak to Nick from Royal Mail. So Nick, great to meet you. Tell me about how many parcels are flying through here. This facility is absolutely amazing. We operate with up to 90,000 parcels per hour and it takes up to seven minutes for a parcel to move from one side of the building to the other. And that gives us a capacity of over 200 million parcels per year. That's massive. I guess that's just because we're ordering more online. Absolutely. The world has changed. We are all shopping more online. And our customer and our customer's customer demand first class quality of service. And this facility is allowing Royal Mail to be at the forefront of that. And how does rail fit into that? Rail's a huge part of our story. We operate between here in the Midlands and up to our Scottish distribution centre and the train can travel at speeds of up to 100 miles an hour where of course on the roads we're restricted to circa half that speed again giving us a competitive advantage for our customers. Nick, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. The automation here is so impressive and I'm keen to see how rail freight slots in to this incredibly sophisticated operation. To learn more, I'm meeting with Henry and Megan from Network Rail's freight team. So Henry, there is a 200 year history of delivering mail by rail, but what's going on here is really exciting. Yeah, it's absolutely huge, Steve. At Network Rail, we're on a mission to accelerate the shift to rail. Rail is fast, economical and reliable, and so we're delighted to see Royal Mail invest in expanding their rail operation. They're helping customers up and down the country get stuff where they need it to be and quickly on Royal Mail trains every single day. There's also the scale here as well, that it's a good opportunity for us. It is. I mean, you only need to walk around the place to see the scale of it, but that matches our ambition. We want to grow the amount of goods moved by rail in this country by 8% over the next five years. So we're working with Royal Mail and others to expand their existing operation, but we're also looking to work with new customers to work into the world of rail and keep goods moving around the country. And Megan, what type of intricate planning must we have done to fit into this 24-hour huge operation? It involved a huge amount of collaboration between Network Rail, the freight operator DB Cargo and of course Royal Mail. So all the parcels travel along the West Coast Main Line, which is one of the busiest routes on our network. So all the trains from here, from this hub, go all the way up to Royal Mail Shieldmuir's Terminal in Scotland. And how did we fit the service into that busy timetable? We've had a lot of long-term planning and early engagement with all key stakeholders. So we've produced a timetable that has these paths included and we've also obtained access rights to protect the traffic going forward. We know that Royal Mail have aspirations to move even more goods via rail, so we'll continue working with them to help unlock that capacity in the future. Meg and Henry, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Express Freight in all its forms just shows how rail freight can play an even bigger role in the parcel space for consumers and businesses, all while driving down their carbon emissions. And 200 years since that first mail service by rail, it's great to see rail continue to innovate, finding smart new ways to deliver.